Pimlico is back in business and galloping into the Preakness. Nikki Mayo is off to the races around town. <laughs> It's time to pony up, place your bets, and get ready for springtime at Old Hilltop. It's a special feeling here in Pimlico. We get to come back to Baltimore. Uh, the response from the fans is just amazing. The return of the spring meet will bring racing to the track through June 8th. But the big day we're all waiting for is May 18th, the second leg of the Triple Crown, the 138th Preakness. We hit the map nationally. You know, everyone focuses on Baltimore. In order for a horse to win a Triple Crown, he wins the Derby, but he's got to come through Baltimore to get to there. A day at the track does not have to be just about horse racing. In fact, there are tons of events coming up right here at Pimlico. We've got the Decanter Wine Festival. In June is what's Hispanic Day. So we're going to have soccer. We're going to have all kinds of Hispanic flair. Given the 46 days we're racing here, something we have on that agenda will make you happy. These McDonough students are singing their hearts out for a superhero in Owings Mills. When you think of a superhero, you, you may get the image of a cape or uh, someone who can fly or someone who has superpowers, x-ray vision. Um, you might even think of Superman. This Superman is Jonathan Waller. He's a McDonough alum, Man Theater marketing director, playwright, composer, and creator of A Superhero, the musical. Coming back to McDonough, is uh, is really like coming back full circle. And that is a 30-person cast and a 20-piece orchestra taking center stage this weekend. For the list, you would go! I'm Nikki Mayo.